really starts with their, their physicality and their defense. They're a very good defensive team. Um, Cliff causes problems in the middle with his ability to change shots and block shots. And um, I think that's the number one thing for us is just to be able to embrace that physicality and handle that physicality and be functional as a team. Uh, but they're very good defensively. They have a uh, wide range of guys, especially guards, that on a given night, you know, can uh, really take it to you. And so, like, before they've had, like, a perimeter guy that you knew was their main guy, and now it's it's more balanced. But it's also a little scarier because you don't know, you know, who could come off the bench and get 20 for him or who's starting getting 20 for him. Hyatt's been real consistent for him as that combo forward. Mag is obviously now back playing. It gives him a lot of experience. Um, but for us, I, I think it's going to, like, being able to hand their, handle their pressure, whether they're trapping or pressing or mixing up their defenses or doing different things to Zach. Uh, I think it's going to be really important for us to take care of the basketball and then also rebound the basketball. They've uh, traditionally been a very good rebounding team and very physical and athletic and long. So I think those two areas are going to be important once again. Are they still getting into you defensively like they have in the past, even though they have some yeah. personnel? Yeah, they there? do. Yeah, they do. It, it's not um, the same just because, you know, Last year they had guys that would play 30, 33 minutes. You know, Caleb McConnell, McKayhee, and now the guys that are, that are playing, the, the minutes are a little bit more balanced um, than that. But yeah, you, you know they're going to pressure. You know they're going to pressure the passer, and then make it really hard for us to to get the ball to Zach and make it really hard in ball screen um, offense for us. Like they get into the basketball, they get out, they they drop coverage, they hedge, they'll they'll down some things, so they'll mix some things up. What's the challenge of winning out there? It's been a while since. That was right. Well, they've been good. You know, he's a good coach, and um, defensively, they, they they do a lot of really good things that we just talked about, and um, that more than anything. And then we haven't shot the ball well, but I think a lot of that that we haven't shot the ball well has had to do with their defense. Is it fair to say this is the kind of architect of a team that you guys have really struggled with over the last season? If there is one long guards, a lot of pressure. Does that make? Just focusing on possessions. Yeah, but the, the two games that we turned the ball over, you can find smaller guards on Northwestern's team. You find smaller guards on Nebraska's team. So it hasn't technically just been that. It's been more of us um, having unforced errors and allowing things to get to us instead of saying, you know, you don't want to take the credit away from the defense. But if you go back and look at those types of turnovers that we've had in those games, they're unforced errors. They're us, you know, putting ourselves in tough positions, and um, but know that their pressure, you know, causes problems for everybody. So I think it's one of the main things on our scouting report is being able to handle their pressure and their athleticism. They've struggled offensively this year. Does mm -hmm. that make not giving them the ball, giving them easy looks the other way? No, because you know we've seen this before, where you know teams shoot well against us, right? Like where you go in there and you're like, well, you should do X, Y, and Z, and then you get guys making really, really tough shots in a game, and they get that hot hand. It's kind of that hot hand theory, right? And so, um, I'm a big believer when you're preparing for people, always prepare for their best, and really try to sell that to your players and say, hey, like, here's where they are as a team, but always prepare for guards. I always talk about like what they've, their high game. Like this guy's had 26 in a game against a quality opponent. This guy's had 28 in a game. This guy's had 25. So even though those guys might all average seven, eight, nine, they still have the ability in that one game, you know, to score the basketball. Not to have those unforced errors. Right, yeah, just took care of the basketball. Made good decisions, moved the basketball when we had to. Um, you know, when you feed the post as much as us, you're gonna have a couple in that area. You just are like, it doesn't mean that we give in to it and tell them it's okay, but you just are. Um, and then we play through ball screens a lot and just making the right decisions on the break and just taking what the defense gives you. And uh, you can't get a, you know enough good shots, even when you're missing them. Like, keep getting good shots. And our ability to rebound really enforces that. Just to complete that checklist for the seniors, they won, I think, at every Big Ten earlier except for so, Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't uh, know that. This, I guess that's kind of a feather in a cap here if they right win on so yeah because you don't you don't play every place right. so you don't play every place every year so it's not four times you know sometimes it's with indiana it's going to be four times but everybody else it's like two to three times so um, i didn't mean to cut you off go ahead um, 
but no, it's, um, you know, you're always looking to put something in front of them for motivation. Obviously, trying to win a Big Ten championship, trying to put yourself in the best possible situation for the NCAA tournament. Um, we've done a lot of good things up to this point, but yeah, you know, that's something that they'll know. I'm glad you told me. And so like, but no, it's the one thing I know they have is, is a lot of respect, you know, for Rutgers and a lot of respect for their players and their program and how hard they play and how they go about it. And so, you know, us winning there would, you know, be a huge accomplishment for us just out of the respect we have for them.